Hey there YouTube, it's Marvin here again. Welcome to my channel, RUV. Uh, someone asked me if I can make a video of uh, how to wire the backup uh, camera to the stereo. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I uh, just wanna show you guys what I have here. Of course I have uh, the stereo. I have all the harness already connected at the back. And I have the switch that I'm gonna use it as like like the shifter of the car because I'm not installing it in the car right now I'm just uh, doing the wiring like how to properly connect to it and of course I have the backup camera this is a typical backup camera for the car that you can buy from you know online Amazon eBay for like probably 15 to 20 dollars and the 12 volts uh, line for the camera that uh, that goes into oh sorry the red one here and of course the the video line that uh, that will connect from your camera and then goes to your to the back of your car stereo and I also have my power booster that's uh, I'm gonna be using as a power source for this job and of course my coffee right there it's uh, it's like 8 8 in the morning right now okay so the best uh, way to connect your backup camera since the backup camera goes at the back of the car so the best way to get the power source for your backup camera is to get it from the reverse light of your car so like that said you have to of course uh, remove the housing of the uh, reverse light uh, uh, reverse light of your car it depends like uh, how accessible it is and then just you know let attach this uh, this is the supply for your uh, for the camera so yeah you have to attach the red wire to the red wire from your reverse light of course the ground the black one goes to the black uh, in my case i always just attach it to the ground if i can attach it in some screws i you know i solder the eyelet here and then i find some you know screws at the at the chassis of the car and then attach that if not you know you can just you know like attach it to the ground wires of the uh reverse light as well the black one so red to red and then black to black this is ground this is 12 volts and of course this guy here let's open this one okay this is your camera and this one here it goes right there now you have the 12 volts line for your backup camera all right so the next thing is this long wire here that's gonna connect to your to this is this is the output from signal from your backup camera so that's gonna connect your your long wire is gonna connect right there and as you notice that this long wire also have uh, on both ends also have like a red wire so this actually powers your camera and this one doesn't power your camera that's the that's the confusing like uh, lots of people are conf confused with this wire why they have like a red pigtail there on both ends of the video uh, uh, video wire actually this this 12 volts here I mean this red wire here it has to be connected to the red wire that uh, red wire of your reverse uh, reverse light as well so you can just like take this wire you can connect them together hopefully that is clear Oops. So there. Join them together. 
they join them together let's split that so this is the camera this is from the camera and this is the supply 12 volt supply for your camera and then oh, as you can see this is make just to make it clear that's a red wire from your video cable oops come on okay so now you have red wire going to your camera and then the red wire that is attached to the video cable okay so the both the red wires are together so this one again these two red wires are gonna go to your uh, positive uh, line of your reverse light and then of course uh, ground of your reverse light okay let's go to that's the camera the other end of the video cable right so let's go to the other end of the cable so the other end of the cable the video cable also have the red wire so this is where lots of people are confused why <laughs> there's two red pigtails on both end of the video cable which we already have the power line for the camera so what it does is let's go back to the other end okay so this line here supply your reverse camera when you once you shift it to reverse uh, your cart into reverse and then this red wire here it doesn't actually goes to your camera it's just like using this line that the, the red line here it goes back here actually goes back to the other end of the video cable which is right here it doesn't go through your camera so what this this is also 12 volts right so what this red wire does is this is like a 12 volt signal that goes to the back of your stereo I will show you that where uh, which wire is gonna go what it does is the 12 volts that goes back to your car stereo is the one telling the car stereo that, that they, let's say you reverse the you put your car into reverse of course you get the 12 volts uh, supply because your reverse light comes on and then it will give a supply 12 volt supply to your camera your camera comes on and then you're gonna have 12 volts on the other end of the video cable as well so that said once you get the 12 volts cable uh, 12 volts supply here that's actually this war it tells the car steer you that hey the reverse camera is on then you have to switch to reverse camera input now if you don't connect this if you don't connect this the other end uh, the uh, i mean the two red wires of the video cable even though your camera is on the car stereo doesn't know that your camera is on this is this red wire is telling your car stereo that your reverse camera is on that's why this is really important okay let's go back to i mean let's go to the back of the car stereo All right, this, uh, we, we're just going to ignore this one here because this is just uh, like uh, other inputs for your video in, like component in. And as you can see here, I just uh, tied this up, the rest of the wires. This is just uh, for your uh, steering wheel control and then speaker. So we don't need that for the backup camera. What we need is also, of course, the supply, the red supply for your car steer to turn on and the yellow wire for that that memory without that yeah, the car stereo won't turn on as well so it has to be there together if you're just testing it otherwise if you this if you're installing it in the car this one goes to your uh to your battery and then this one goes to your ignition but we're not talking about it right now and of course ground and just to s show you here let's remove this okay so this wire here the single video in cable that's the input for your reverse camera as you can you can tell right away because there's they always have a blue wires uh, one or two whatever 
I don't know what is that for exactly. It just like a serve like an antenna. I don't know. Anyway, that's the. This is the input for your uh, reverse camera. So that is. As you can see, all the also the connector here, it will only go one one way. I mean, it's only one size. You you, you cannot plug it in to the other uh, other slot. So let's plug it in there. So remember, this is the input for your for the reverse camera. And let's go back to the other end of the cable, the video cable. So which is uh, this is just so messy right now. This is here. So where does this other red wire goes? That's the very important one. So the main harness is uh, this one, this one here, the black connector right there, right? So you have to look for the wire that it says uh, reverse back or use back cars. It's like they label different, especially when you're buying an, you know, like a no-name brand car stereo like the one that we have here, All right? So in this case, the wire is right here. It says back. That is your, that's the wire that you're looking for. In this case, it's brown. Some wires, I mean, some, some stereo is like, they got like a color pink, pinkish, brownies, purple whatever uh, you all you have to look is for the proper I mean the, the label so this wire and you know the 12 volts wire has to connect to this wire here that's what I'm saying uh, that was I'm telling earlier that this 12 volts is gonna tell the stereo the car stereo to hey switch to backup uh, camera input because the camera is uh, the reverse camera is on so if you don't connect this the the, the 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 stereo doesn't know that the camera the reverse camera is on so that's that's where this red wire from the other end of the cable video cable goes so let's put that aside for now Okay, so this is the other end of the cable. So as I said, this is the input for the reverse uh, camera. So you, it's gonna be plugged in there and then look for for the cable that, uh, for the wire from the main harness that uh, it says back or reverse or back car, whatever. So that's gonna be permanently connected there. So let's connect that there. All right, so so your backup camera connection is complete. That's how simple it is to connect to the back of the car stereo. The I would say the hardest part is to you know like to connect the the wiring from your. Uh, at the back of your car because you have to get the supply from your reverse light and so on so that is connected right there okay it's uh, everything ready that's gonna be our uh, main source for the power let's uh, just think that it's the battery of the car and let's go back to the camera. So this is your camera, the 12 volts uh, line is already connected right here. And of course the positive goes to the positive of your uh, reverse light of the car and then ground to ground. And then the long cable is also connected to your camera. And then the red wire also connected to the positive uh, positive uh, wire of your reverse light same as the supply for your camera so we're going to use the switch as a as a shifter uh, shifter of the car when we turn it on it means that we shift we <coughs> shift the car into reverse 
and of course your reverse lights gonna comes on and then also go, are gonna supply 12 volts for the camera and for the red wire of the long video cable so the 12 volts here is not gonna go to your camera it's just gonna go back here yeah from the red wire gonna go back here gonna travel to this very long wire and then gonna go here it's not gonna go there it's not gonna go to your stereo to, to this I mean it's not gonna go to this wire it's just right here until here and then it's gonna travel here and then it's gonna go to your to this wire the back the back uh, the, the brown wire that has a label back reverse or back car so that's uh, uh, as I said that 12 volts is gonna tell the stereo that hey the camera is on so you have to switch to reverse input which is this one here all right okay I also connected the the positive and the remote wires to turn on the stereo to the positive don't get confused with the color of my alligator clips that's all I have right now and also the ground goes to negative all right so let's try to turn it on let's see if it works okay everything is connected as it should be by the way I remove the input harness wire because we don't need it for this demonstration so let's try to turn it on and uh, hopefully we don't see some smoke in this demo okay so uh, let's pretend that this is your car and we're gonna turn on the engine on and your stereo should turn on there you go now it's on the radio now you want to get out of your driveway because you want to go somewhere like shopping mall or whatever you want to do so you're going to put your car into reverse mode so the, in this case this is our shifter the switch so i will turn that on re, i mean into reverse watch the stereo there you have it there you go you have your stereo switch into reverse input and then your camera is working Right now it's blurred because I didn't remove the plastic. So by you can see it's working. You can see myself there. Oh, by the way, right now I'm in my trailer because this studio actually is going to go. I'm going to install it on my trailer. Let's just reverse right there. So, uh, yep, that's, uh, that's my old uh, studio for my trailer. And then, uh, yeah, I already removed that. The studio goes in there. I'm gonna install their studio up there. Okay, so that's how you uh, install the wire. I mean, connect the wire, the wires for uh, for the backup camera. So let's say, let's just say, like you switch your shifter into drive mode again or neutral park, whatever. And then your studio go back to radio or from you know where it was again shift to reverse it should go right away all right so let's turn it on so let's say that uh, you connected everything properly and then your reverse camera still doesn't work I would say that uh, of course you have to double check your connection but most likely is you the camera if it's not defective your camera is not compatible with st your stereo there's the like there's the lots of different camera especially like NTSC uh, pulse cam so you have to make sure that when you buy the camera the reverse camera for your car stereo you have to make sure that is going to be compatible with your uh, uh, car stereo that's why I strongly suggest that buying a car stereo from 
wherever you buy it you should buy it I, I mean complete kit with the with reverse camera just to be you know save some headache yeah so uh, this uh, this car stereo is like uh, I think it's is eight uh, hundred eight point uh, zero so that's why it's uh, detect the camera right away by the way I bought this camera separately from Amazon and uh, stereo I bought this from Aliexpress just to show you that I have another camera this is the small camera that I'm it's working right now and I have this another camera this is uh, I bought this as a spare in case my other camera my master quit so just to show you we'll change the camera if it will work okay there's no signal and there you there you go it works oh so previously we we're using this camera and now we we're using this one here as you can see right there wow this one's very clear well it doesn't have a plastic uh, film anymore so it's a uh, clear I also like that the the uh, the guidelines for the camera is really clear as well. All right, uh, I have another thing to show you: the harness. That's also make confusion, f you know, with lots of people. Let's uh, turn off the the stereo right now and unplug that harness. All right, so I have my other studio. These are same unbranded car studio that I bought online. I rem uh, I think I yeah. Also, I bought it from AliExpress. Uh, don't worry about the messy wire. I turn off the booster, so there's no twelve volts coming on the on uh, those wires. So this is the harness for this studio here. Uh, the small one, and this is the harness that uh, we use. So the thing that I want to show you is the wire that has label back that's the the one that's you where you connect the 12 volts you know from the video cable that's telling the camera that hey switch to uh, reverse uh, input because you the reverse camera is on okay and this car steer you hear the big one uh, by the way it's supposed to be like they are supposed to be standard color coding In this case, there's, it's, they are not standard at all. I mean, the fin uh, configuration it is, but I, th but I want to show you here. Uh, well, as you can see, this is a brown wire. So because like in my previous video, like uh, hey, uh, lots of people asking like which wire is for the signal, <coughs> for the uh, for the reverse uh, uh, input. I said uh, I told them like. Hey, some uh, you have to connect it to the pink wire or brown wire or sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's pinkish, purple is brownish wire. They use different wires, you know. Like as you can see, this is a brown, and in this one here, where is it now? It is right here, which is can you see that? Which is pink. So that's why lots of people confuse like why it's supposed to be the color coding is also standard but as you can see right here i'll show you here first the one that we use this is the brown wire i don't know if you can see that properly as you can see yeah so we can see here the brown wire is goes to like uh, this is a black red and brown so that's in the third uh pin so that's your the signal for the reverse and also here black red and pink that's also on the third pin is just the only difference is 
they use different color of the wires. They switch it instead of instead of black, red to my left, black, uh, black, red, brown, pink. Here is like the one on my right is like black, red, pink, and brown. So they reverse it. Well, I, I think what happened is like, you know, like, you know, there's people like the in the factory, they make like mass production of these connectors, right? So if they probably, I don't know which exactly is right, if this one here or this one here, but probably if they made a mistake, you know, like there, there's, I mean, it's gonna cost them a lot of money to correct it. So they just uh, label the proper wire that goes into the, like uh, third pins. So, so as I said, don't get confused. I mean, don't rely on a color of the wires. You always have to check the label. In this case, this one is pink, and the other one is the other stereo is brown. So I just want to point that out. Anyway guys, I think that is it for today's video and if you have uh, any question or comment suggestion, leave it in the comments. If you have any question, I will try to answer it to the best of my knowledge. If I cannot answer it, for sure some of us, you know, who follow my channel, you know, can help, you know, answer that. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, like when you're doing this, make sure not to short anything. <laughs> You know, no, not to smoke your stereo, and uh, I am not expert on this, but I'm, you know, like uh, I'm not a car stereo technician, but I'm electronic computer technician for like, uh, you know, for over twenty years. Uh, oops. Oh, maybe some of you <laughs> will say that, hey, wow, twenty years, you must be very old. But remember, hey, all this gold. As long as you're not too old. Hey, joke aside. Yeah, so joke aside is like, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys uh, find this video helpful and useful. As I said, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.